Hello everybody, my name is Olga Foreman and I'm a mixed media artist. And look what I got in the mail. Thank you, Dana. I don't know what is exactly inside, except I know that there are art supplies and I can't wait to open it up. Let's do it together. So this is what I got. I got Donna Downey signature stencil, gold leaf kit, which includes adhesive, and sealer, a set of wine charcoal and a shimmery turquoise color icing ink. I'm very excited to try those products. So we're going to work with this stencil from Donna Downey and wine charcoal. I'm going to break a piece of that and I'm also going to work with this tool to smudge to smear the charcoal when I need so I prepared my paper with gesso and sand acrylic paint and I'm going now to think about composition and I think I'm going to use it on my right side so on the left side I can put something else now when I look on this stencil there is two things come to my mind since most of the time I do portraits it's already remind me head and a neck but if I turn it upside down it reminds me Russian nesting doll Matryoshka but I think for now I'm going to make a portrait so let's outline the shape so here what I have now let's think how can we make a portrait for that so I can leave the top of that bulb for the hollow and the bottom part is going to be face so let's try to do this let's find the middle it's very easy to find because there is a gap here so that's going to be middle as you might pay it attention already the wine charcoal is very forgiving probably the most forgiving medium and you can erase it easily with your finger or with paper towel if you need to there are many different ways to map the face i personally love to start from the line which divides head in half and this is where the eyes are going to be then I mark nose and lips and I can break it even farther to the small piece and build the shadow area right away with the side of the chalk with the charcoal I'm sorry now let's just spread around also when I feel that it fills up too much with the charcoal I'm going to clean it up with just the paper towel and I also don't need the lines in the middle so I will not going to touch that with my tool
first step I'm going to outline the important features with paint is grey from Liquitex. On my palette, Liquid X Pen is Grey and Liquid X White Gesso. I am going to mix those two paints to match the values on her face, starting from the darkest value. After I am done blocking the darkest value, I am going to add a little bit more white to my mix to block medium value. I am going to block the rest of the face with different values, each time adding more and more white until I reach the lightest value which is white by itself. and nose and lips to get it back.
smallest details could be added using small round brush or liner.